Pastor Morris here. I hope you're doing well. Uh, as you can see today, I'm sporting my Mr. Rogers Neighborhood t-shirt. Uh, you know, I grew up watching Fred Rogers and Mr. Rogers Neighborhood, and uh, I'm sure many of you uh, watched it when you were children or young people as well. Others of you may have seen the recent movie that starred Tom Hanks as Mr. Rogers, which uh, recapped uh, the influence and power of the life that uh, Fred Rogers lived. You know, over the years, Fred Rogers focused on educating children, uh, helping them get in touch with their feelings, helping them deal with uh, fearful and also with controversial issues that emerged throughout the course of the 30-some years uh, that he was on television. And I was thinking about that this week because one of the issues that Fred Rogers uh, dealt with was, uh, um, was racism. Um, and he did this in a very interesting way. Uh, back in 1969, uh, segregation was no longer the law of the land. Uh, but at that time, black citizens were not embraced as equal participants uh, in public life. And one of the ways that that was reflected uh, was in community pools across the country. You see, at that time, whites uh, would not allow African Americans to share uh, the pool water with them. Uh, they segregated pools all across the country and, and in a variety of communities, including Greensboro. Well, on May uh, 9th, 1969, uh, Mr. Rogers did something absolutely incredible on his show. Uh, he invited Officer Clemens, a black police officer on the show, uh, to join him in cooling his feet in a plastic wading pool. Now, at first, Officer Clemens said he didn't want to do that because he didn't have a towel with him. Uh, but Mr. Rogers said, oh, you can use my towel. We'll share. Uh, so Officer Clemens sat down and placed his feet in the water right there next to Mr. Rogers. And the two men not only cooled their feet together, uh, they publicly broke a well-known color barrier. And then after they took their feet out of the pool, uh, Officer Clemens dried his feet off with Mr. Rogers' towel, and then Mr. Rogers dried his own feet off with the same towel. It was an incredible statement uh, that Mr. Rogers made at a very important time. Now, in, in some ways, it was a very simple thing that Mr. Rogers did. I mean, simply uh, sharing a, a, a wading pool with an African-American man. Uh, but this simple act, this simple act uh, had incredible power. Uh, and people, some people opposed uh, what Fred Rogers had done, and they wrote him all kinds of letters. Others uh, cheered him on. But as I think about that, and I think about our own uh, struggle with uh, uh, racism right now and, uh, and racial reconciliation, I thought about what Jesus said in the Gospel of Matthew. He said, you know, the kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed, which a man took and planted in a field. And though it was the smallest of all the seeds, yet it grows into the largest of plants, and it becomes a tree so that birds can come and perch in its branches. Uh, what Jesus is reminding us here is that sometimes the smallest things that we do can have incredible impact. So this week, what I'd encourage you to do is to think of those um, maybe seemingly small ways uh, that you can fight racism, that you can promote racial reconciliation uh, in our community, in our city, in our world. Uh, just some suggestions that you might want to think about. Uh, show up for a peaceful protest uh, and stand with our African-American uh, brothers and sisters. Uh, shop at a business owned by an African-American. Uh, volunteer to serve at the table uh, on our Glenwood campus on Monday nights and get to know people who are racially or uh, socioeconomically different from you. Uh, read a book on the history of racism and white privilege to kind of better understand the issues that are going on right now or, or simply spend some time with a person of color and listen to them. Ask them about their experience of being a person of color in our world and, and just listen and see uh, how they can enlighten you about, about what they experience in life. All these ways uh, may seem like just little mustard seeds, but I believe if, if we'll all plant them, uh, they will begin to grow and uh, we will be able to make a difference in bringing people together uh, in our world. Uh, let's pray about that. Gracious Lord, we give you thanks for the gift of people like Mr. Rogers who remind us that simple things can make an incredible difference. We ask that in this time of social unrest, uh, when our black and brown brothers and sisters are, are crying out for help from all of us, that you will help us to have the courage to engage in those seemingly simple acts uh, that will make a difference in our community, in our world. We ask all these things in the name of Christ our Lord, who, who broke down barriers throughout his life. Amen. 
Thanks so much and hope to see you next week.